Dun 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 and down. Oh god. <laughs> What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the fantastic Arcane Ascension Mod. So yeah, this is very, very awesome. But uh, yeah, a little bit of backstory just before we get started with the content. This is one of these mods that was effectively abandoned by like the original creator. So what's happened is I've seen this quite a lot recently. It's very cool. Um, someone has decided that they want to kind of um, continue with the development. So they ask for permissions from the original creator. They get them. And then they start to kind of redevelop and re-release older mods. Which is cool because this mod is, is kind of awesome and it's kind of good to see. So, um, because it's been updated from quite an old version to a newer version on 1.7, there are a few features that have changed since you may or may not have seen it last. And there are a few things that are sort of fairly new and being worked on. So this isn't by any means like a full release of this, but it is available to play now with some of these features uh, ready to use. So, where do we get started? Well, the whole point of this mod is it effectively revolves around this terrain here. Now, in case you, you may have noticed when I went that way, but yeah, this is this is an island, <laughs> which is really, really awesome. And these things are randomly generating in your world. So this is actually two of them. I got quite lucky here with this spawn because there's two nice big islands right next to each other. But more typically, you'll find them sort of just on their own like that. And as you can see, it's quite a new amount of different blocks and bits and pieces and that all helps you with um, the mod. So you know I found these quite hard to find on sort of overworld areas um, but they spawn quite not quite regularly but they do spawn quite a few times in um, ocean biomes so that's kind of like the best way to find them. It's essentially this huge raised platform of very very pretty stones and uh, they do some pretty cool things. So I think we should start off with the ores, because I think that's a good place to start. So these are the new ores um, that are really important for how this mod works. So we actually have these two in the middle are the same ore, but it's actually spawning in the nether as well. I believe it's actually a little bit more commonly spawning in the nether, uh, but yeah, I always forget the names. This is adamantium, is it? Hang on, let me check. Don't want to get it wrong. Oh no, this is imperium. This is uh, promethium. This is adamantium, and then this stuff down here is something called trace ore. Now, trace ore is very cool, and it involves that fancy-looking thing over there. So, yeah, these stones are used in order to kind of use the crafting recipes and essentially um, build these really cool tiered armor sets, which is kind of like the main goal of this mod. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll start over here with this bad boy, because it's kind of like... Um, a very cool item, and this is essentially like an uber furnace. So if we go in here, this is called the Prometheus Chamber, and as you can see, it's very, very fancy. Uh, let's see how we make it very quickly here. Da, 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 da. Where are you? Okay, for some reason, the recipe wasn't in the crafting book, so that's kind of strange, but don't worry. We figured it out. So yeah, this is how you actually make this Prometheus Chamber. Uh, yeah, I said that right. Um, so yeah, you actually need four obsidian, four gold, and you need one of these things here called the Imperium Core. By no means is this like a really sort of um, cheap mod to use, so this is kind of sort of mid-game style thing. You're going to have to get some resources in order to do it. Uh, but yeah, these Imperium Cores are absolutely insane, so I do actually know how to make one of these from here. Uh, now, the Imperium Core is made from this Imperium Paragon, which is actually the ore that you get from the, um, the the stone that you get from the ore, so that's fairly straightforward. And then you've got these Prometheus Embers, which are from the Promethium Ore, so you need four of those, four redstone, and then one of these bad boys in the middle, and then that will give you four Imperium Cores. Now, the cool thing about these Imperium Cores, just on a completely off-topic, uh, these things are highly, highly volatile, and I mean really highly volatile. Um, let me demonstrate. Let's uh, change it to daytime. So you can actually use these as sort of, I guess, explosives. Uh, and they are pretty damn explosive. So let's pick some nice clay here. Now, if we right click it, it will fire. There'll be a huge amount of lag. Oh my God. And uh, as you can see, there was like, a, if you manage to see that in the distance, there was like a little sort of ender style effect. And there's a big latency thing, and you get pushed back loads. And then it completely explodes everything. So it's absolutely mad. Let's do another one. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so it's like an Uber DNT. This is kind of not what its primary per per la la la. This is not what its primary purpose is supposed to be, but I think it's pretty cool. It looks really nice with this sort of disco mountains with all the different layers. So yeah, this is a highly volatile oh god. 
ah, oh, I'm stuck in the explosion error. Uh, so yeah, these are highly volatile. Be very, very careful what you do with these things. But they are very useful in this mod, especially for making this bad boy. And what can you do with this thing? Well, essentially, you don't fuel it with coal. You have to fuel it with this Promethium Ember, which is, you know, one of these two ores here. So this is like a really, really good coal substitute, and it's actually better than coal because it lasts longer. Uh, now, this thing is very cool for one reason. You can actually use this brand new trace stone in order to gain different random ores which are found within it. So does that make any sense? Let's find out. So as soon as you stick that in, what you'll see is you'll see this little arrow going across. And then this trace stone is effectively like a, a general ore for pretty much everything. Now what I found is that iron is the most common one which is coming out of this. So if you'll see here we've got an iron ingot first, then we've got a piece of coal. And then let's just, just do a couple more of these just to see what we get. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've got another piece of coal. Okay. So iron is the most common I found sort of messing around with this. But uh, you can get quite a lot of different bits and pieces here. Oh my god, another coal. Come on, let's get something new. Come on. Go on. Ah, it's another coal. Seriously? Uh, all right, so what else did did I find from this? Well, basically, I found uh, as well as iron and... Oh, yeah, there we go. Redstone. I found clay. You can get bones, that kind of thing. So that's just one of the things that you can do with it. But as well as that, you can also use this furnace slime balls as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, as well as that furnace, you can also use it for... Um, where's it gone? Where has it gone? Here we go, the adamantium, which is um, one of the, pretty much like the rarest ore that you can find. Um, and it's the most useful one. Now, another feature about this, it's a very cool ingot as well. Another feature about this is when you actually find these floating islands, uh, this is like one of the best places to kind of find these ores. Now, you'll see these uh, little flowers around, and these are called haven blooms. Now, the haven blooms are growing their like on purpose basically because the haven blooms mark where this ore is found so let's see if we can go over here quickly yeah there's a good the good example of it now if we have a little diggy diggy hole here let's see if we can find one so the haven bloom is that uh, was like here so it actually grows relatively near to where the ore is found um so you do have to do a little bit of digging where is it come on it'll be here somewhere Aha! There we go. So, as you can see, it's only like the one uh, block in here. It wasn't actually the uh, the adamantium, sorry, it's the Imperium. So the Imperium is the one that is shown up by the Haven Blooms, and uh, I actually had to move to a different one here, so uh, there was actually nothing under that one, at least I didn't find. But I went to this one, and I dug down a bit, and if you can kind of see, it's pretty much exactly under where that Haven Bloom is, uh, but you just had to dig down a bit. So that is a pretty rare ore to find. Uh, but it kind of gives you a little hand as to where to find them. And also another feature of these flowers, they're really important. Um, but effectively these flowers are used to repair your special tier armor that we're going to see in a second. Uh, and you actually use this Prometheus chamber as well. So for example here, I don't actually have one that's not damaged. But let's just grab a, a tier 2 gauntlet. So if we did that and then we did that, what would happen is if this was uh, damaged, it would then start to fix the, the item. So I don't know if this is 100% implemented yet. Um, but it is one of the features that will be coming slash is already sort of there. I know that they had some issues with it in the, the older version of it. So this is obviously still a pre-release uh, kind of update. So, um, you know, things are still sort of getting put together and all that jazz. Right, so what we're going to look at now is the items and stuff that you can gain. Oh, as well as that. Yeah, you kind of see these new trees and stuff that are growing around. This is uh, Glimmerwood trees, which are very, very cool. And um, there are actually some new blocks and stuff that have been added since the last version. So we've got this special arcane grass and arcane dirt, arcane stones, arcane mossy stones. So most of these and this arcane crystal, which is very cool. Uh, a lot of these are kind of like aesthetic uses at the moment, so they just kind of look pretty, but I imagine that they will be implemented. This arcane sort of glowstone-y style stuff is very cool, especially because you can sort of put it... Um, where's the normal glowstone? There it is. You can kind of put it like next to this normal glowstone and it looks kind of cool because it's sort of like the different colours and all that jazz. So this is sort of what it looks like underground. You've got these vines and stuff hanging down. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, but yeah, you do have the wood. And now the wood is really important because you need that wood in order to make uh, the tools. 
So these are the tool sets that you use here. These are all made from the adamantium, so you do need to get the adamantium. Um, and then you have just the standard sort of uh, item set. Now these items will have special powers, which aren't currently implemented, but they have been implemented in previous ones, which is a bit of a shame because I kind of wanted to show you them. Uh, but the ones that I do remember were the, the pickaxe. If you right click with the pickaxe, it effectively has silk touch on it. Uh, the sword is a bit more powerful. Uh, this adamantium has a lot of uses, so it's effectively like, I think it's around sort of gold level efficiency in terms of like damage and stuff, but it is past diamond in terms of uh, durability, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you know, you've got these sets. And of course, if you want to make these, then they're made sort of in pretty standard way, but you do need the adamantium ingots. And instead of normal wood, you do need the glimmer wood. That's a good example there. Um, so you can see here. And now the glimmer wood is actually these trees. And if you haven't noticed by now, these things glow in the dark. Uh, so they're very, very cool. You'll sort of spot them quite far away. Uh, and then the glimmer wood is in the middle here. There we go. Lots and lots of glimmer wood. Uh, you can actually break these. They will drop saplings and then you can kind of plant them. But these are only found on these floating islands um, from spawn. So you do need to uh, like find some of these islands in order to get the ores and then to get the trees and all that stuff to sort of make the stuff. Lots of stuff there. Right, so the final thing about this mod, and it's the last thing that I'm going to be showing you, uh, are the different tiered armor sets, which is kind of like the main point of it. So, this is what we've got. Now, the first thing I'll say about this set is that it looks really, really awesome. And then each tier has like a slightly different design. So if you can see here, uh, for the chest plate, it's got nothing on, then it's got one little blob on it, then it's got two little blobs on it, and then it's got three little blobs on it. Um, so this is uh, in sort of four different tiers. Now, for starters with the helmet, um, the chest plate and the boots. Hang on, wait a minute. Uh, I've forgotten the trousers. Oh my god, how can we forget the trousers? All right, let's lay the trousers down there at the bottom. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> so yeah, these are the trousers. Right, so the gauntlets themselves uh, don't actually have a first tier to them, um, but all of the other items do. So we have the helmet, we have the chest plate, we have the boots, and then we have the leggings. Uh, so if we go down them from sort of right to left here, I'll show you the gauntlets. But the helmet, in tier one, it has underwater breathing as uh, sort of a... Uh, I guess like a specialist enchant, which means that you, you can breathe indefinitely underwater. And if you do that to tier two, then it adds wall climbing onto the top of that. And then if you go to tier three, it also adds fire protection. So with the chest plate, if you get it up to tier one, it adds gliding. If you add um, tier two, it adds fire aura, which means you don't really take damage from lava and fire and that kind of stuff. And then tier three, it actually gives you the ability of flight. This is super, super OP. It's absolutely crazy, but it's pretty cool. Um, because like a lot of modded let's plays these days have jetpacks and stuff so you know it's, it's kind of nice uh, and then the boots the first tier is fall reduction and then the second one it adds slip resistance and then the fall reduction gets increased and then the boots the fall reduction goes to three which i think is a hundred percent damage um takeoff which is pretty cool and then slip resistance again um, which kind of keeps you steady on ice and stuff. And then the adamantium leggings, tier one is movement speed, tier two is movement speed and water speed, so you can swim faster. And then tier three is movement speed, water speed, and jump height. So how do we make these bad boys? Well, I shall show you via the power of craft book. So the gauntlets are made. You do have to go straight to number one here, but it's one Imperium Paragon uh, and then Adamantium Ingots around the side. And then if you want to upgrade it, it is the, the Tier 1 ones, the Imperium, and then surrounded by Nether Warp, that will give you the Tier 3, and then, sorry, Tier 2. And then finally for the Tier 3, exactly the same thing, but you replace the Nether Warp for Lapis Blocks, and then that will give you the Tier 3. So that's kind of how all of these work. You have to get the base item and then you upgrade them via different stuff. So the helmet is adamantium ingots and then for tier one, it's uh, the Imperium Paragon in the middle, the helmet at the bottom, and then that's surrounded by fish. For tier two, it's surrounded by spider eyes. And then for tier three, it's magma cream. Uh, let's go to the chest plate here. Chest plate tier one is eggs. Uh, tier two is uh, blaze powder. And then tier three is feathers. And like the items may seem a bit random, but they are do actually sort of kind of work towards what the actual enchantment is. So for example here, you know, you've got the power of flight adding to three, therefore you put feathers in. So it's pretty clever. And the last, second to last one here are the leggings. So leggings as normal. Tier one, movement speed, sugar, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, tier two is sugar cane for movement speed. Tier three for jumping, of course, is carrots. 
Uh, and then finally with the boots, uh, tier 1 is bones for 4 reduction, tier 2 is slime balls um, for uh, slip resistance, and then tier 3 finally is uh, snow. So let's put this bad boy on. I'm actually going to go straight to the tier 3 gear here, uh, because why not? Uh, and I'm going to put this on now. This looks really, really awesome. The gauntlet, by the way, you don't actually put on. You sort of have it in your hand like that, and then that is sort of your fist of power. So this is what it looks like. Like The, the gear is awesome looking. Check that out. So, so cool. And uh, as well as looking like an absolute baller, uh, if we flip it around like that, you can kind of sort of demonstrate what you can see. So, for example, we're running really, really quickly, which is the movement speed. Now, if we jump off somewhere really, really high... Oh, God, creative survival mode. I'd have missed. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, all right, never mind. Whilst we're down here, let's turn it into day. So, as you can see, when we're, when we're swimming, we're sort of moving a little bit faster, kind of. I mean, not really that much faster, to be honest with you. Uh, but we do actually move like a bit faster. We do have the power of flight even in survival mode, which is pretty weird feeling, uh, especially because you can kind of see the health bars and stuff. Uh, if we do jump off something high, durr, blop, we don't take any fall damage, which is very cool. If we do jump off something really, really high, I think we'll take like a very, very, very small minimum. We do have this gauntlet here, which is kind of like a... Oh, Jesus. Uh, which is really good. As you can see, we didn't really take that much damage from it, but we can use this as like a punching tool. This did at one point have uh, the power of levitation, which if you right-clicked it, you could throw mobs up in the air. But unfortunately, that isn't quite implemented just yet, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but I imagine that it will be fairly soon. Uh, what else can I show you? Ooh, oh, I should have made a little ice rink. Um, let's make a little ice rink here quickly. All right, so let's grab some ice. Ah, oh, for God's sake, that's not ice. That's dirt. Oh, for God's sake. Break. There we go. So let's make some ice here. Dun, 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 dun. So one of the powers is slip reduction. So effectively, ice pretty much feels like just normal dirt. It's like a tiny, tiny little bit of slip there. But you really don't slide around and you can run very, very quickly on ice, which is pretty cool. What else have we got here? Uh, ooh, I think there's a pool of lava here. Now, the... The, uh, the fire aura is interesting because it, what you'll see, right, is if I jump into this lava... Oh god, there we go. I won't actually be taking any form of damage. And if I jump out... Oh no, we're good. Okay, so I must have had the wrong tier on. This is great. So as you can see, I'm completely invulnerable to fire, which is going to be very, very useful because obviously you're not going to die if you fall and you've got all your precious items on. Um, so that's pretty damn cool. And then obviously we have the jump height, which makes you jump higher. So I think that's about two blocks of jump height, which is pretty cool. Uh, fall reduction, movement speed, water speed, jump speed, um, and then underwater breathing. See, the wall climbing, I couldn't get to work. Um, and I don't really know... See, it's not really working right now. I mean, you can do the double jump, which is really, really good. Um, so as you can see, I can get up that very, very easily. But I don't think the wall climbing is working just yet. And I don't think the gliding is working just yet. Uh, and Oh, that may have been a glide, actually. It kind of felt like a glide. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the gliding, and then finally the last one is water breathing, so obviously if we go underwater, as you can see, we, we're just kind of, there's no bubbles, and you know, we're perfect to sort of do a bit of underwater exploring. So, yeah, that's about it for this mod. It's really, really cool. It's nice to see uh, some mods that have been around for a while that have kind of been maybe abandoned or whatever to sort of start upgrading and start sort of coming into more recent versions. So, as I did mention, this is still very much kind of like a work-in-progress pre-release style thing. A lot of the the, the sort of items and the, the, the abilities have to be rewritten in the coding for 1.7. So, yeah, stick around for this mod. I think it's going to be very, very cool. Uh, in terms of like new items and then fixing some of the old ones that don't work in the new versions, that kind of thing. But yeah, I love the, the floating islands. They're very, very pretty. And uh, these trees and stuff are awesome. And you get this absolutely insane um, armor set, which is very cool. Oh, let's actually see if, um, if this flower does work at the moment. So if we stick that in there, we stick the haven bloom in. No, that doesn't work just yet, unfortunately. But that, that will be something that will happen. Unfortunately, it doesn't work at the moment. But yeah, that will be something. But yeah, okay, that's, that's kind of about it for this mod video, to be honest with you. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, um, I don't know, if you had to pick one of these powers from this armor set, which one would you pick? So, ooh. I know, I know like, the... the um, I know, like, the, um, the the flying one will be pretty popular, but I really like the double jump. I think that's really cool. It makes it so much easier uh, to sort of get around, especially if you're in areas where it's, like, three blocks high. Not three blocks high. Oh, God, you can do three blocks. <gasps> or was that wall climbing? I think that's maybe a bit of both. But, yeah, you can get up super high blocks and stuff, so that's my favorite one. 
But yeah, okay, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. If we could get over a thousand, that would be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support and stuff. Uh, also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. We do Minecraft done fun. <laughs> but until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Right, see ya! Thank you.